Good evening, everyone. Sorry for the delay tonight. Um, trying to sort a couple of bits out on Facebook. It's actually working this week. Had quite a uh, quite a bit of hassle with it for the last couple of weeks. So that's only going to annoy me if I don't move that. Hello, everyone that's just joined. Um, I can't see the Facebook people at the moment, but. Hello, Paul. Uh, notifications. Uh, Pat Rick, Alistair, Lee Taylor, Rick, Josh. Welcome. So, tonight, hey, we've got um, a couple of bits and pieces that I've been working on, and a couple of bits and pieces that are commissions. Hey, Marty. Oh, what to start with? What to actually start with? Um, okay, I'm, I'm probably about two hours, Rattler. Are you still at work? Cool. After everything, all of the uh, the messing around and. I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it, I don't, yep. I eventually came and I, I think, I don't know if it's grown on me, but I actually like those colours. I haven't had time to do much else of the tank this week. Um, because it's one to go up for sale, it's not a commission. I've had that many commissions to get sorted and get finished this week. It's been low on the priority list. So I've been doing um, more bits and pieces of commission work rather than... Uh, Rather than stuff that I'm just going to be putting up for sale, I got I got a lot of death troopers to do. Cool. I'll, uh, what time is it now? Seven, eight. Yeah, we we should be still around a bit. So a lot of death troopers to do. Um, pick them up this week in a bulk lot, so that they're, they're all sat there waiting to be done. Um, these have been sat on my desk for ages waiting to be done so we're going to get on with them as well uh what else i've got a couple of bits and pieces that i've bought in this week to sort out uh, that we have actually picked up uh to have a look at then the prizes prizes for tonight so 8 30 to 9 ish which was when rattler finishes uh, we'll have a usual raffle. So the usual raffle, we have four prizes again. It's getting to be a bit of a usual one. So we have a bit of a droid swarm. So there is three, which is the maximum you can have, of the bombardment drones and a pair of hive guard. So those two, that's one lot. The other lot, and it's the Legion side of it. We have a full set of the promo, um, the one, two, and three pip command cards. Bit of a rebel one this week. Paul will like this. Uh, with the rebel veterans and turret, and then the Tauntauns with their. It actually looks. <laughs> It looks like a very confused Tauntaun. Yep, very confused Tauntaun. So that's the second prize. The third prize is another X-Wing one. So there is a um, Ray of Hope charity event one. Hi, Jack. And... Thank you for the sub, mate. So then we've got the pulp from uh, the Imperial March charity event and then some of the organised play ones. We've got the force oh, sorry, I'm way too high on the screen. Foresight um, shield upgrade, which has the old 1.0 shield upgrade on the back. Oh, I miss 1.0. Uh, and then we have the logistics division pilot. So that's another one. Hi, Jack. How are you? Uh, and then a 
bit of a weird one for the the. Have I done? I've done more X-wing than uh, Legion, but shh, don't tell the Legion lot. Snowy. So for no, ju just as Snowy turns up for the X-wing, we have um, Boba Fett and Boba Fett crew. We have Guri. Don't have the sentiment. Uh, these are Steel Banthers promos given to us when I was again down at the um, oh, the last event that we were at. Hi, Foxy. Um, then we have Guri in all of her robot goodness with. Uh, I don't know who did that one. Uh, and then a bit of a strange one. I'm adding. Hi, Lucky. It is a nice guru. Then a bit of a strange one. Um, this is an Imperial Assault card, but because it's Boba, I thought I might as well put it in. It is the Imperial Assault card that was an exclusive from Harlequins a couple of years back. I know these weren't very easy to find, or still aren't very easy to find, because I think you only had four of them made. Uh, so that's the four lots. So there's three lots of X-Wing. I think I've miscalculated that, but we'll be fine. Um, if we go past the goal of what, what we left at, um, there is points, points, what's the goal? If we get the... Th <laughs> yeah, you never know. One day we they might get scum. They've got everything else at the moment. So, at, hi Adam. The next part is he's looking around his desk and he can't see it. What did I do with it? There it is. Sorry. So, um, it's here somewhere to you somewhere there. if we hit the stretch goal the first place prize will be one of two so if you're an x-wing player you can choose the aether sprite and it will have the complete pack with it or you can choose mr palpatine yay the big beardless beast uh, so yeah i don't know if you can see mr palp he was the one that we did on live stream. So if we if we hit the goal, these two as well. Oh, one of them two as well. So yeah, um, on the table we have. He's very oh, can't you draw him one on, or have a sterile fake one for him? I've just seen Michaela join the stream. Hi, Michaela. So, bits and pieces that we've got on <laughs> bits and pieces that we've got on the table for tonight. We have eWebs that I'm going to have a play around with, or maybe just one and get some snow effects and get the uh, um, the, the blue keys finished off. Uh, I've got a full FD cannon. I just have a feeling that FD cannons and eWebs should be more prominent in the game and um, the Cath Scarlet that I started about a month ago month and a half ago um, I'm going to start blocking in the panel work uh, and see where we go from there and I think we've just lost a camera Yep, and one second. Let's see what's happened to with this camera. Has everything frozen? Yeah. I'm still moving. Ca 
Cam Link still seems to be fine and running. Oh. Strange. Anyway, everything went black. So, um, I've got this. Yeah, it's back now. I can see. Uh, if someone can keep an eye on that, that would be amazing. I don't know why it's done it. So, I'm going to try, <coughs> as I said, blocking it in with some rack flesh flesh um, tonight as a couple of bits and pieces. So, let me have some glasses. Hi, John. Miss you. Uh, Legion tokens. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Oh, and I did zoom in and out to try and get that to fix. <laughs> Someone's going to shout at me in a minute. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, oh, some I can. I was talking to a couple of you last week about um, the bright purples and bright colours that I've been using. That's one of the things you might get to see my sh legs in shorts here. Um, I picked up some paint for uh, the beanies competition. Um, they're running. Oh, what's it called? Painting competition of beanies, um, and I wanted to try some new paints, so I went and got some quite bright ones. I've got the um, Createx colours to try. I used to use these in RC cars quite a lot, um, and then when I got out of the RC car world, I got rid of all of my paints like this, and then for some reason I thought about trying one and I had a small bit left, so I was like... I'll give it a go. So, I took these three. It took a while to get here, because uh, for some reason they had to come from Japan. Um, and I created something a bit shiny. So that was the Eldar jet. I'm going to move those two out of the way. Thank you for liking the stream, Mark. So, yeah. That was... Trying some colours, trying the airbrush. Um, just having a play around with what I could do with this new paint. Um, absolutely blown away by the paint. It was fantastic. Especially through the airbrush. It just... Um, everything just popped. I'm going. Yeah, my stencils. The we do the um, we do these in seven mil hexes, so I just made them a little bit bigger to try on this. So I guess I'm going to have to be. Uh... Thank you, X Wing Tavern Wars. Um, I'm going to be pushing these stencils. I'm going to I'm going to start and do some more. Um, how-to videos. I've already started um, working on a how-to video for the basing. I'm going to do some for the stencils and stencil work as well because I'm I'm not being funny, but even if you just use a brush and you stipple through and stuff like that, you can get some amazing effects with little on no training skill or anything like that. They take a lot of the effort out of out of basically the paint work so I actually managed I know it's my competition uh, my thing that my nice shiny bits um, I, and that will unfortunately be going down the route of going on eBay tomorrow because I can now tell people that it was mine and I don't have to keep it secret anymore for the voting and not being rigged and stuff like that but thank you everyone that did vote for it because I managed a second place which I'll announce later. Shh. Um, but yeah, the paints were about three pound fifty a pot, um, and for the amount that you get in them, that is fantastic. Uh, I, I probably used a fraction of what's in any of them. Um, so yeah, 
I do like them. They worked okay through a brush on a normal brush as well because I had to touch some bits and pieces up and blend a couple of bits. And the the pink really worked as a blend to like just on the brush as well. I'll put them to one side. Um, I know I'm not getting much done at the moment. There is a UK supplies. I just pick. I may have picked the wrong supplier when I bought it late at night and went, "Oh, they look good. I'll buy them." And then realised in the morning when I woke up and I wasn't so sleepy that the place I'd bought them from was Japan. So yes, Cratex do supply in the UK. Um, there's a couple of RC shops stock it. Uh, I don't know about the Wicked Colours though. They do um, another another line that is designed for RC car body shells. Can you tell me what holder you are using for your top-down camera view? Um, I'm using a four-foot steel conduit. Uh, I forgot the make of them. Um, one second, let me. It's a. I can never remember the make of it. Still not going to remember the make of it. Oh, yeah. It's a Manfrotto magic arm that hangs across. And then I've got the D7500 uh, Nikon hanging precariously. I do take it off when I'm not using it because it's a two kilogram camera sat floating in the air. I, did I miss anyone's comments on multi-stream? Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up with what people have been saying. Ian, if you want more information, just drop us a uh, drop us a message on Protex Facebook page. I'll give you links to all the stuff that we've used. Thank you, Michaela. Uh, back to so, so um, that was that. Any. Just a quick one before I do actually get... That's 20 minutes in and I've not... Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got a Manfrotto tripod as well. I love their gear. I, I started with a, a monopod years ago. Uh, a friend gave me it and their gear was just, it was just solid and spot on. So, I know his website's down at the moment and I can't give any links... But any of you guys out there that do airbrushing, um, I picked up some paint uh, a couple of weeks ago from Badger UK. It's Barwell Motor Supplies, uh, Barwell Paint Supplies. Um, it's a gentleman called Steve Puffer who I get all of my airbrush. Um, well, he services my airbrushes. I've bought all of my Badger airbrushes from him. I've got a load of service kit up there to do a service kit but he's just put a sale on on these um now they are badger precise design model flex um thank you old frick so we'll be raffling off whichever one of the two big surprises now as well thank you for that mate so these are normally two pound ninety a pot uh, compared to a GW pot, they're uh, quite a lot. Um, they are airbrush, uh, and they are quite thin. The only problem I've found with them at the moment is they've got um, a high content of flow improver, which so when you shake it, you do get like a froth to it. Um, but if you pip it in, into an airbrush, you go under the froth and get, get the good stuff. Um, Steve's got these on offer at the moment for 50p a pot. Now, I know I've bought... It, he's got sets at the bottom of um, seven paints for £3.50. And I bought the four sets. And I tried the red um, this week. And the red airbrush. 
two coats of normal paintbrush and then just playing with the airbrush to, to get it thin and stuff like that. But if anyone wants a bargain, again, drop us a message. I'll send you a link. But it's pretty good for 50p a pot. Yeah, it's Barwell Bodyworks. Um, if you go on to their... Uh, if you search for Badger... Badger Airbrush UK or Barwell Bodyworks, there's a link to his shop. Now, when me and Jack, because Jack's bought some as well, um, when me and Jack tried earlier to try and get a link for in here, it's unfortunately um, dead linked at the moment. I don't know if he's updating the website tonight or whether he's just that busy. Uh, but... That lot there which is all these pots. And there's loads of them. Um, they're all one ounce, 30 centiliter pots, 30 cc pots. Um, <coughs> and that lot cost me 15 quid, which you can't complain at. That's the tank. <laughs> the tank's making an appearance behind me. Um, so again, if you want some cheap paint, get over there and get it while it's still there. Um, if he asks why everyone's buying it, just tell him Lee sent you. <laughs> it, he'll be well impressed that he sells if he sells out. Don't buy it all because I want some as well. Um, so da, da, da. I'm going to move one of these out the way for now because I'm definitely not going to get eWeb. Quick, fast way to do the eWebs. Um, I have some more bits. Yeah, he's really good, and he's a he goes around all the shows as well. He's a lovely bloke. Uh, I met him for the first time at a show near us, uh, and I took two very abused airbrushes over to show him. Um, one of them is I've had this for a long time. It's my Renegade Grid Chrome. It's a two hundred. It's got a tuft in the top of it. It shows you how often it gets used. Um, I spent a fortune. I think I spent about two hundred pound on that brush, um, and it is really, really good quality. It's fine. It's really detailed, and it's what started me down the uh, badger route. But in taking it apart, I lost a little washer out of there. No idea where. No idea how. Took it over. <coughs> took it over to Steve to show him. Uh, and I had a SOTAR 2020 that was very, very dirty as well. And he basically said he would take them away for £25, strip clean, and if it needs any bits, he would fit the bits for me. So I jumped at the chance. At the time, I needed an airbrush. So I basically said to him, um, I would buy a, a, another SOTAR 2020 off him at the time. Uh, and I was going to... I wasn't far off paying like 120, 130 pound, and he says, "Oh well, we have these boxes," and underneath the desk there was a box with two in. So you got a sortar. The sortars are the ones that you've seen me use all the time, which are them ones. Them, I love them to bits. There's a gold one out. If I can get a gold one, it'll be fantastic. I, I'd give my left. I'm not gonna say what. Um, but they came in a set for like 190 pound. So I basically got a Patriot at the same time, which is my it's been one of my big brushes for doing scenery and that sort of stuff. So um he saved us an absolute stack of money. And going through it, I actually um by the end of it all he'd saved me so much money I bought a load of airbrush um oh primers off him as well to try. Uh didn't know much about them at the time. Styro Styro Res airbrush uh, uh, primer, uh, and I've never t uh, basically it's the only primer I ever use now. I've never gone back, um, and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm just checking on the pages that everything's okay. So, um. Yeah, and even when I bought that, he gave me an extra five or six mini pots um, just to try of the different colours. So, what we have... Sorry. Um, the E-Webs. Uh, I just built them 
didn't fit the figures. Fit the one part of the hands. Left them unfitted because when I do the snore, what I want to do is push them into the snore and then leave an indent and then glue them in there later. So these were just sprayed black. There's been a dry brush of Necron compound over the top of that. Just a very light one to pick up all the details. If you do too much, just wash it back with nulling again. Um, but that seems pretty much spot on. Um, I'm not sure which ones on the tops of them are lights and which aren't. So for now, I'll just leave them. What I do though is where I've got this, um, it's going going to get a load of snow put onto it. So rather than have black poking through the snow, uh, I'm just going to use some of that. This is my white Styro Res primer in a pot because the big pots that you get in, get it in are like half a litre. Uh, so I decant it into smaller bottles. So I'll just put some in there. And this can be drying while I'm doing the figures. Uh, so it doesn't need to be a full coverage. You just need to get the black away. And then when the snow goes on top of it, it just doesn't doesn't have a stark black to white contrast. Again, these are just quick tabletop jobs to get them um, up and finished. They're not like three and four hundred pound paint jobs that my good friend Rasta does. That pop he was doing was ridiculous. I really want him to do one. Hi, Kit. Your bits went out today, Matt. Again, I'm not being too careful with it because the snow is going to cover a lot of this um, once I get the snow down. And anywhere where I've hit pipe work and stuff like that, it'll probably get snow on it anyway. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. I went. <laughs> I was sat there looking through the prizes for the raffle tonight, and I was like, "Oh, cool! I'll uh, I'll stick some of Kay's stuff in." I was like, "Oh, I've used all of his stuff." So, with it being a primer, it does coat pretty well, um, as you can see. I just got those. I missed a bit there. Even with a brush, the Badger Primer works really well. And there we have it. I'll just leave that for now. So, at this point, that's all they've had is the black, the dry brush, the white. So these fellas are... They're primed in the Styrize white. Thank you for f the flank... Julian, thank you for following. And thank you. Yeah, Ulfric topped the stream up. You're a star, Ulfric. Um, yeah, these are sprayed white with the same stuff that I've just been painting with. And then... Um, <laughs> yeah, it it uh, pays to subdue them first, 
Oh, that's going with yeah. Cheers, K. So yeah, they're just uh, white primer, and then it was a fifty-fifty null in and null in and lamium medium. So that gives it the the shading and stuff like that. Now. What pro what normally happens is when you start putting the cream on, and I had my idea of either Rakath Flesh and a wash, or the Wraithbone and a wash, um, but then I just had a thought about if I just do a wash that yellows it up enough, is that going to hold the the effects of the initial wash? So we're going to try. I'm going to be doing a lot more with inks and washes and stuff like that. Um, I've also ordered some oil paints. I was starting to jack about it earlier. Hi, Lane. How are you doing? Um, so, this is just Seraph and Sepia. I'm being very careful not to knock it over. This stuff's like gold. Oh, I'm saying it's like gold dust. GW have just started shipping again, so it's not too bad. So, I'm not using it as a wash, per se. Probably more of a glaze effect. Um, because the wash has already been done by uh, the initial Agrax. Uh, sorry, the initial um, Nullin. So, you're just trying to tint the colour. I just find working with inks and washes and stuff like that a lot easier. I watched a gentleman today paint with um, oil-based paints. I had, I've been watching him quite a bit. And the stuff he produces is phenomenal. I talked to Raster about it. And uh, it just, the way it comes out at the end, it, absolutely brilliant and the thing with oil I know it takes a lot longer to work with oil but if you make a mistake all you need is some white spirit and a cotton bud and you're removing that mistake so It's still holding all of the detail from the Agrax. That's from the Nolan. I will keep calling it Agrax. Um, and then adding some of its own. See that bit where I've missed under there. It'll sit. And I can put enough in to pull it. And again it's just simple. So you... You do the initial bit. Um, sorry, I didn't tell you. The initial bit is the spray white. Uh, I then do a um, a white dry brush over the final wash. Once it's been washed, I'll I do a quick um, white dry brush just to clean up any staining and stuff like that done by the the nulling. If you're using a 50-50, it is very minimal, but you still get it. So, all the wraps at the bottom of his leg. Does it go just the knee, ca the knee pad that doesn't get it? So I know I use GW a lot. Um, once I've got these to a place of drying, and uh, I'll bore you with another um, little thing that I've picked up to that in a bit.
Um, if you go... Uh, let me just do the arms on this. If you're going to do, um, like, standard basing, the, the GW... Um, Yeah, the G, the GW standard basing for that sort of stuff works really well. Um, if you're wanting grass, the best I would probably go. Are you wanting like a full a full head of hair, a full head of grass, or are you wanting like as though it's a football pitch that's been dug up and um, used? used and abused pitch or do you want it a nice clean one with as you said markings across it as well a pristine people um i would probably still put a base down of mud and then fully flock it because if you don't get a full flock, you're going to see base through it rather than actual uh, mud that you would see in real life. Uh, but it also gives the flock something to stick to. Um, PVA, and I would probably say, if you can get it, 2 mil. Um... Two mil static grass. And it depends how much you're wanting to spend. You can get a static grass applicator for five or six quid, a homemade version on eBay. Or you can get a thing called a flock box, which is about 30 quid. Um, that. Sorry. So yeah, um, you can, it just depends how far you want to go. There's, I've not seen any turf lawn or anything like that, so to speak. So yeah, I, keep, I nearly called you Captain Rex, Commander Rex. I'm just going to start calling you Marty. You keep changing your rank too much. So it's picked up all of the the underneath. And all of the the marks that were left by the uh, and adding to it a little bit as well. So that's just and that's just white with seraphim sepia over the top of it. It's a a quick a quick way of doing it. I'm just double checking one ones that I've painted before. So. I'll do the other one. Money's dying over here. Um, I need to do the guns um, probably in contrast. We could try some butcher's turf. Line markings. Um, there's a f you could use actual if you can find them. Chalk pens. Chalk. Chalk pens. Um, if you can get a thin enough one to 
to work. So again, the dry brush has done most of the work. There's only basically p putting the wash. Sorry, the the dry brush and the um, wash at the start have basically picked out all of the the different layers of colours, uh, the different layers of darkness, and the recesses and stuff like that. So when you come to put the ink or wash over the top of it um, it doesn't lose any of that that detail I hear movement it's either going to be Mrs Moff or Minnie Moff it's a Mrs Moff I'd love a cup of tea. Can you do it with real sugar, please? <laughs> Instead of the sweetener. It's um, it's seraphine. <laughs> no, it is it's seraphine sepia. Um, it's just one of the washes. It's not one of the. Uh, not one of the contrasts. Um, I, th I was going to try the Born over it, but I have a feeling um, it might have stifled some of the the detailing already done by the Nolan. I don't know if if there is any painters out there at the moment that have uh, <laughs> say spare cash. Um, there's a Kickstarter by AK Interactive um, for what they're saying is their version of contrast. Uh, people are saying it is their version of contrast paints. Um, yes, thank you. The monthly goal has been hit again. It means I can do a bonus one next week. Because um, we do have some bits and pieces. Oh, I dropped him. That's not going to go down well with him. <laughs> so that's quickly. Oh. So oh, off, off the thing. See. cameras are amazing because if you notice there it's got a little bit too much so under the camera I could see that but under daylight I would have missed it so uh, the shading down here is fantastic off the uh, the nulling and then the interaction with the CPU over the top of it Ooh, I dropped him on his head <laughs> Hiding off the camera. Right <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So this this is um, biscuit tea. Um, I, it tastes like a dunked rich tea in the. Uh, uh, is it malted milk? Mm -hmm. Tastes like rich tea. Multi biscuit brew. It is. It does taste like tea and biscuits. So that's the CP done for now. 
Um, I need a couple of bits of the black. Um, then I'll do some filling in with the black. Zooming out. So, uh, I don't know if anyone saw the uh, the giveaway. I'll just have a quick run through of the giveaway again, just to catch up with people. Because uh, we've hit the monthly goal. And we've done it on a an actual live night instead of a an off night like the last one. Um, the first place will get the choice. Yeah, it has worked very nicely, like appreciated. Um, so whoever's first out of the, the hat gets the option of the Aether Sprite in the Iron Man colours. Or Palpatine with his glowing face and effects. Got another one of these coming soon to do with that gear. So first place, we'll get the choice of one of them two, whichever one you like. Um, then four other prizes tonight. So one of them is for um, a granddaughter and or Ray and grandfather. Oh, spoilers and all that. Um, with Foresight, an old shield upgrade, um, and logistics division pilot. So that's one of the X-Wing ones. Both of them are from the charity events that we attended last year. Um, there's a Legion one, which is Tauntauns, and the Rebel Veterans, which are getting harder to find. And three of the pip cards these are the original ones um then i have a droid swarm set or for anyone who likes droid swarms uh we have three bombardment drones and two hive guard and then the final one is a bit of a boba fett uh one which is boba crew Bobber Pilot. Guri, which is fantastic, that one. Which has no name on the back. Um, another Guri with Steel Banthers, when they gave me it at the system open. Uh, and then a very rare Imperial Assault card from um, Harlequins, when they did their last... Imperial Assault Regional that uh, I was TO for. This was my TO card. Um, but I think there was only four or five of these ever done. So they're, they're canny rare. So that's what that's the prizes for tonight. We did have a winner for the dice from the um, bonus gold draw, which we'll be doing another bonus one now. And thank you, Kay, you're a star. Um, the choice was made for which set of dice, and the lucky viewer got my Legion. Oh, sorry, got my X-wing dice. Um, the set that I got from running the event at Beanies. So that means I've still got a set of. Um, Legion white attack dice to give away and I'll be doing that maybe he's in the next one I've got another set of the X-Wing dice so I can do the same again as a bit of a bonus so they are pretty much right so go for the null in right and I am I'm sorry that this is going to be another shameful plug, but I am 90% certain that if I don't do this, I am going to knock them everywhere. I'll just do them at the edge. So we've started producing trays that hold pots in. We do them in a, a 12, 24, 36. Um, and 
it just stops me knocking nulling and shades over all the time. I do in fact I'm gonna put them onto the back of it. So my entire wash collection is in one. And I think didn't you buy one of these, Dale, or did you buy the the one for the other one? I can't remember because I know I sent you the wrong one at one point. Um, so that's the 24, so it holds. Ah, I'm determined to knock the nulling over. And I've got the same one again. For, oh, no, sorry, I've got the 36. Um, slot one for my um, uh, contrast. <laughs> yeah, it just it just stops you from knocking stuff over. It's uh, I should I really should use them more. I use them as a storage device rather than a oh I've knocked it over again. Yeah, I I just tend to cry when I do it. But sorry, I'm just cleaning them up. Uh, wash brush that got a bit messy. <laughs> oh, wow. And that stuff doesn't come off. I've had contrast paint stuck to my leg for a week where I ended up uh, messing up. So, I also want to... There's a little bit of snot... I've got no idea what that is, and that's going to annoy the living daylights out of me. There's a little bit of snotling hanging, hanging over. So, move up there, will you? There we go. So, what I'm going to do now is just with a nulling, <coughs> excuse me, just with a nulling wash, a pure nulling, just to get the dark recesses in the eyes. Fill it, and then you can just rub it if you've got too much. Unlike a paint, that'll drop in the recesses. And fill all the eye sockets. So what I tend to do is, just to give it some detail is fill a couple of the recess holes a bit more than the 50 50 got that's good that's okay i'll get that with the contrast if things like the bag haven't picked up very well if you just run the wash down the like trailing edges and leading edges of stuff it just highlights it or low lights it can't remember if their hand their hands are white in this so I'm not going to do too much on there but just picking out a couple of the use the wash just to pick out bits and pieces of detail that have disappeared or aren't as pronounced as they could be Do the same on this fella. These look like they were the first. See, that looks like a huge stupid eye and it'll stand out for miles. But once the wash dries off, it basically fills into the gap rather than being. If you did that with paint, it would stay looking like that. There's the wash in the eye socket tends to re like recess a bit. And I'll do this in a bit there. I've just 
all of my storm troopers, all of my snow troopers that I paint, I paint in a uh, in a style where they've actually been in a battle rather than just coming into the battle to start with where they're all nice and clean and all brand new. Right, so when I've dry brushed, I've got a bit too much of the ridge detail. I must have gone that way and it's done the, the actual ridge detail as well. So, very carefully, just run it round the rim. with some water and that should blend back in When that dries, that should blend back in. There's a little awkward bit then. Looks like a bit of dodgy molding when it's recessed. And I've missed it when I cleaned it. Um, I've got that, I've got them. And, uh, as I said, these are just quick cheerful get it painted get it done oh sorry that's gonna happen there's a yep so the next one closing my pot moving it to the back is oh, you know that feeling that there's not much left in that see this this contrast look at that it is literally the dribbles left in the bottom and I haven't thrown any around my room so I, I use this a lot now for my guns and stuff like that so where you've got the I need a bit of wash in there as well I just noticed that white bit there so yeah this this one's been fully used Oh, you're just picking up the bits of the gun with the um, contrast the white will shine through a little bit and if it doesn't if you do get too much of it on there you can then do a quick dry brush of silver there we go. I need to quickly wash that though so this one needs that doing as well, but just the bits that aren't going to stick into the um, the gun. So basically everything that I can't get to because I glued his arms on. I'm very, very shaky tonight for some reason. I don't know if you've noticed that. It's been one of uh, one of them days. So much managed to get so much done. So much stock came into the new lines, stuff to try out. Um, a couple of new jobs that. I had to make sure everything was there and I didn't have to order anything in. But still really enjoying it. So, 
quick touch up in the black. Wait, I'm going to have to change my glasses for the closer stuff. Awesome. Sorry, I'm holding my breath. Right, and his gun. If you don't think you got all of the recesses when you've done that, um, a little wash afterwards with nulling just to catch the bits in the recesses that you could have possibly missed. So, oh, magnifying glasses. Back to bigger glasses. Let's see if anyone said anything on Facebook because I need to be on different things for that. Uh, Mr. Burn, no, it wasn't. It was just um, oh. it was white. White airbrush and then a 50 50 null in lamia medium um, wash just with uh, a bit of a dry brush afterwards. Pick, picks up all the, uh, the extra white bits. Someone does have a video out there of how to do it, Lee. Cool. So quickly done there um, this so I was going to use the GW one but hopefully in the next couple of weeks it was I was hoping that it was going to be this week we are going to be stocking the whoa, way too close um, hopefully have the full range of Vallejo ground textures in um, so I'm going to use their snow. Paul, Rebel Grey. <laughs> um, are you repainting over the top of existing paint? Or is it going to be uh, stripping back and starting again? Probably over the top. Yeah. Uh, any specific? Yeah, just cover it in blood god colours. Um, the 
I'm, there's a few different color schemes. The the basic gray, I would probably go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've got it on the shelf, which will probably get me killed. Stonewall gray. I would like to say. Um, <laughs> I should So <clears throat> The one that I like <laughs> And uh, Mahi's gonna love this Is Wolf Grey <laughs> Uh, let me just... I've just realised I've knocked that camera as well. Is that better? I don't move the screen. Move the screen. What on earth? Sorry about this. I don't know what I've knocked. Is that better? That's better. Um, so, yeah. It's slightly... If you're wanting the, the Hoth colours, I would definitely use it. Um... Wolf grey and then possibly a very light wash. <laughs> He's been around. Um, other greys that I would use. That's actually a silver. I wouldn't mind doing a silver one either and wash it back to get the matte colour. Uh, GW colours. I don't tend to hold that many grey seer. Possibly use the grey seer. As the base. And then add washes to to get the like the desired colour. Like you just saw seen there. If you do it in a, a grey seer colour, then do the wash. You can then do more washes over the top of that to, to darken it or to lighten it, if that makes sense. But I, I do like the... It has a slight tint of blue, which for snow is really nice. I should have probably done the, ba the base in that as well. But I really wanted to stay away from wolf grey. <laughs> so back to the base so this is just like I don't know if anyone knows what pumice is it's quite fluffy and airy and so what I'm going to start with is I'm just going to get a coating down and it is very sticky and gloopy and it sticks up a lot and These pots are like, depending on which ones they are, they're between nine and twelve pound. Um, when I've been getting them, I don't know if the prices. I'm probably going to find out when we start pricing them if the prices have gone up any over the last couple of shortages, weeks. Um, put some on there. A bit extra there. I got the small tool. Good evening, Mr. Stander. It reminds me of ice cream. It's very bright. So 
surprised my camera hasn't gone into meltdown. I'm trying to keep up. So it's just a case of building it up as if you would with snow. Um, how snow would lie in between cables and stuff like that. Um, I will be dabbing some on various areas. I've been trying to build it up quite... It reminds me of cream cheese. So something end of a brush. Just to get it spread out a bit. Seeing as though I'm using a broken toad brush or or abusing one. So, um just a quick reminder. Yeah, I've remembered. <laughs> I need to put the figures in first, Matt, as well, just to get a uh, a bit of a. a bit of an idea of where they're going to stand to basically eke out their. Oh, that was a lot on there as well. more in there and then I'll do my lines of fire. So I have seen some people use a very muted blue wash over the white. I'm going to put trying to put snow realistically. There we go. Um where do you play, Matt? Our OP isn't terrible. Um, but we do have a good relationship with the OP team. Especially in the UK. Right. So that's got... first is roughly squelch him in and his butt goes seen that over here all of our our euros um that a lot of our guys in the chat went to from t squadron was basically just buy the ticket and go Mm, 
cream cheese. I don't think I'm going to get this dried tonight. Not the thickness that I put the cream cheese on. What I'll try and don't do is run a bead of nulling down or a blue. Maybe do blue. I think it was on about a blue run of wash down each one of them when it is done. Let's just make it look a bit more natural then. So let's get the white off there. It is very, I don't know, fluffy and frothy and ah, it couldn't have been Paul because they would have only had two or three people turn up because there was one you rose. Um, there wasn't that many. Yes, mate. Um, Matt messaged me and he said that the prices had changed. Wasn't it me that messaged you to say that the price should change? Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> so, let's get them into place so they can... So there is tidying up to do on it, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Matt messaged me and then I messaged the couple of lads that I know that had bought them and then I think I messaged you as well. So I will probably put a wash over the snow because I don't care what planet you're on. Your snow ain't that nice and clean and frothy. Um, but then the big mistake that I made and didn't think about it was I didn't check to see how long that stuff takes to go off but it's that um, I can do a bit of it on the next one or I can finish it off and put some pictures up as I have been uh, what time have we got I think I've missed the boat on Kath this week so what I'm going to be doing on Kath is come on mister Kath has had a all over gold spray and then a clear through the airbrush that is the new Angron Red Clear by Citadel. Uh, so I just tried that over the top. I did a blue one as well. I don't know where the blue one's gone. But what I also want to do is pick up on the colours to um, mimic caths and I've done it back it's did I use I used liquid gold um, death revived so it was di li liquid gold um, base coat and that was just done with a brush it's alcohol based so it covers anything um, and then just that through the airbrush, the GW Clear Red. And it does give a really nice... Uh, so the old GW Red from um, Forge World is that, and I don't think they're far off with the new one. When you put them side by side, they're totally different. Um, so the new one is very cloudy. Where the old one, and they're both named the same, which was a bit naughty. But as you can see in the bottom of that one, it's um, 
He says not bit because there's not much left in it. It's clear. Very, that is beautifully clear. Um, but this seems to be working. I need to do some more testing and playing around with that. The, G, the new GW one. Because the old Forge World one is horrendous. It's about t between £12 and £15 pound for one of the one of the original small pots like that. All of their clears are silly money and I've got about 20 of them that I maybe should just get rid of while... Right, so uh, I am thinking... I'm glad they worked out the price decrease after my make gift. <laughs> yeah, 50, $56 it was a little... A little bit steep. So this is a new pot of Wraithborn. Delivered by Beanie Games. Thank you very much, Stephen. Because um, I'm doing some work that I need Wraithborn Primer. So, uh, <laughs> guess what? The world hasn't had a Wraithborn Primer. So, I made my own. Just to go through the airbrush. Uh, thinned it down, put it in a pot, add some floor improver, give a couple of bits of uh, uh, thinness, uh, cu couple of drops of floor improver. That was it. I got asked last week about this as well. Um, this is my. This is what I use for thinning. Uh, brush and airbrush paints so it's not water it is um, Vallejo airbrush thinner 90% and then uh, Vallejo airbrush flow improver just about 10 drops it just stops the paint going off so quick so when I've done this um, I don't know whether I should because obviously it's in all the pictures it looks like the cream was done first and then the red so trying to figure out which ones are red and which ones are cream so that's a cream one and the one below it is so let's see how well this wraith one covers I think it's going to be a couple of coats. Yeah. Bear the glasses again. I'll do this panel and see if it's going to work how I want it to. I think the Wraith War needs a little bit. It's probably going to need a second coat to pull it in. That panel. Trying to do as much of a proper replica as I can. Some of the panels, don't need to keep checking the pictures. Yeah, I'm taking it off the card. It was the only one that I could find that wasn't about six or seven different variants. I'd forgot you'd done one of these, mate. Too thick, too thick, and too much. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm still not convinced I've got the right colours for it though, mate. That was my first thought when I did it. So tonight's probably just going to be a tester of the colours and the palette. Rather than doing all of the panels tonight. It's not reacting nice to... I think yours did this, didn't it? It goes very rough. I'm not convinced I've done it the right way around. I think I should have done the red... Yeah, I think it should be the other way around. Even doing it quite thick on the initial coat, it's got a, a bit of a tinge to it. Yeah, I think that's what it's doing, mate. I think it's actually reacting underneath. Hello there, by the way. Um, it's slightly bubbling. It's not going to go well. Anyone want to buy a slightly used fire spray? So, I can actually show people. This is the new one as well, Rasta. It's not the, the old one either. I don't know if you, you can actually see it just that. See, this is all was all white but it's starting to lift take it off your hands for a bacon sandwich uh i could be convinced i might just fling it in the i've got a um a stripping machine that sounds wrong yeah i think um it doesn't like being painted over So, we'll scrub that as crap. No, it didn't. The red's gorgeous, though. Uh, right, back to, to drawing board on that one. At least that's one. It's not a commission, at least. It's just one to go on the uh, on eBay. Um, so, there is... I'm hoping this is going to work. We have... Yeah, I did think about that when I was saying it. <laughs> so, I might be able to start the... <laughs> you wish, Zoe. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly start the giveaway. It's 50 tickets a pop. And because we've hit the monthly stream goal again. Thank you to you lovely people. You can keep going if you want. You don't have to stop at that. Um, do, 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 do. We have Mr. Palpatine. Who's got dust all over him. Um, or... Uh, Iron Man flying an Earth Sprite. So, I'll go to the big screen. There we go. So there we go. Right, so, giveaway. 50 Imperial credits 
each ticket. And subscribers get an extra one. Uh, free. As long as the raffling one. Um, and then... Yep, that's that, that, that. And a maximum of 10 tickets this time. <laughs> um, uh, is Mr. Stander missing some uh, points? Well, too soon, old frick. And starting... Now, now, go, go. Is it working? Please. <sighs> Yay, we have it sort of working. There's a ninja in there first. Uh, is that a Catherine sneaking in? Uh, pod peas. Wow, well, that's flying up. So we're at. 25 tickets already. 35, 40, 41, 47, 49. Wow. Anyway, while you was uh, hammering the stream, um, we all know that this stuff and this stuff at the moment is or has been like gold dust. So I picked up some. Um, other um, I bought an army pen to set. now I used some of their stuff ages ago I think it was strong tone and dark tone um, and then I, for some reason I got it into my head that um, I bought the tin as well and for some reason, I got it into my head that I used the tin and it came out very glossy. And for some reason, I then thought that oh, opening it, it's a, it's a live box opening. What could be inside? Uh, I got it into my head that it needed to be matte varnished afterwards. Uh, you need the exclamation there. So, I bought one of these from one of my distributors this week to try it out, because, um, yeah, I've been struggling to find null in and stuff like that, so I needed to... <laughs> uh, so, this is the complete set. I think it's about 25, 30 quid a set. I don't... Don't fully know. So you get a free army painter's painter's guide of how to do stuff. I'll have to have a look through that, see if there's any bits and pieces. So uh, over there. But they come in a, a lovely box like this. So haha, what I do have is a stand. Look, look at that. Protex stand printed by ourselves. So I'll go through. You get Dark Tone, which I'm presuming is very much like Nullin. Um, soft Tone, Red Tone, Blue Tone, Military Shader. Uh, military Shader? Yeah, he's got it now. Green tone for those orcsies. Strong tone, which I'm hoping is Agrashish. Flesh wash. Do want to try some flesh washes. Uh, light tone. Strong side sort of stuff. Um, and then mid brown. And a purple. So there is some right, like strong colours as well. Green, purple, red. Uh, military. And then an empty box. So, I 
I think the light torn is very much like the sepia. So what I'm going to quickly do is grab Bob, who his friend Fred's already had. So I'm thinking that very much looks like the sepia wash. I think you need to be a little bit stronger with it. So more of it. Which also means it gives you a little bit more control of putting, not going daft and not putting too much on. So looking in comparison, it's a slightly lighter. So, yeah, it's actually to then be. Yeah, that's I'm actually yeah. over the sepia. Probably prefer, prefer that one. Oh, this is going to get expensive. I'm going to have to buy some more of this. Um, just the way it's flowed on. So that was light torn. What I'm going to do is um, dark torn. Which is just nulling ish. I have a uh, Luke Skywalker that has been very much abused, so I just want to see what the staining is. There's probably a hundred YouTube videos of people doing this and testing them side by side. But until you do it for yourself. You don't really know. I'll quickly show you on that. Closer. So the top half's nulling. Sorry, the top half's uh, army painter, and the bottom half's nulling. There's a slight more staining to the. Yeah, I might have. Uh, I might have to uh, invest in a, a little bit of stock of them and have some on the uh, on the shelf. And so that's the so you get eleven in the shell in the sh in the full set. I think they're all coloured. So, ooh, can anyone see that? <laughs> So yeah, I think that's the usual set that you used to get, and then they've added this military shader, which I don't know what it is, but I've got some tanks to do. They're military. It's 50 points each, looking. Um, so yeah, and and that's the stands that we do as for the 
Um, well, the work on Villagio. Uh, and on Army Painter. Uh, I don't think I've come across any that they don't fit. They're all pretty good. Even our repotted bottles fit. No, they don't. Not even close. Our old repotted bottles fit. The new ones don't. Uh, I'll have to make some more. So, yeah. I got them in to try. And I th I'm quite impressed with that. How that's come out on the back of them. I like to see what it's like when it's dry, but that might be a, a viable option for us. At... What's the pot size? 18 millilitres and 24. Five pound, two pound. So two of them, 36. Oh, I'm going to have. I know they do a. Do I have any? They used to do. I think I got this from Warlords. When I was down there a while back. Uh, if there is any. So, quick. Quick shade wash mixing medium. I'm going to presume. I'm going to quickly try it on. To. Um, that this is the nulling for their product. Yeah. That's. I know it's very hard to see, but when you. So when you. When you thin paint or ink with water. It starts to separate, so you get, you can see the water, and then you can also see the wash. That, so the more you you spread it out, when it can when it actually sticks to stuff, when it would do that normally, you would get water and you would get the wash, basically separating, and then doing that on the miniature can cause all kinds of fun and. So let's see what it does with water. So you can can you see it separating? I'm trying to get so the shine doesn't. Start to separate and the pigment goes to the bottom here. And that's just with what that's why all my Washes, I always thin with Lamium or I'm guessing this quick quick shade wash mixing medium. I also know they're doing a new pot of airbrush product next month. Uh, I've seen a couple of people talking about it. And that basically takes their paints, mix it with this, and away you go. You've got um, airbrush paint. So, 73 tickets. Seventy-seven tickets. Uh, have a quick drink. All my friends know how nuts I've been going over sneak energy drinks at the moment um, they've just announced that tomorrow they're doing a apple sour apple one uh, I don't know if it's going to be a limited run but I'm definitely having one of them tomorrow so yeah that's I don't think you could tell which which is which you mean a link to the uh, sour apple? It's not up yet, Matt. But if um, I think I should have this actually, yeah, that's what I was thinking.
So yeah, if anyone wants any sneak products, the energy drinks and stuff like that, please use that code because then um, they're nice to me. I can't read what that says. Lee powered by sneak. I've yeah, definitely some sour apple. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not joking. The amount that I'm working and the the amount that I'm awake at the moment, um, I've been drinking the cans and the uh, powdered drinks as well. They're absolutely fantastic. We don't know, Mister Stander. We've not made a decision. Um, She's quite happy with the defenders, but I'd like to see her running a defender and some other bits. Um, I've got no idea what to run myself. I wasn't very happy about... I, I'm not a scum player. I, I, I don't know if you could... I wasn't at the best of my health last week, so I was a little bit under the weather and I felt a bit groggy and crappy, so I think that came through on the stream a bit, so I apologise for that. Um, whew, I don't know what to run tomorrow. Could put my double decimators out, try them, um, see what's... Yeah, I don't... I don't it just didn't... I liked, I liked the, I think I'd like Fen and fly Fen as an ace. And I do like, I really do like my aces. Um, but I just feel like, no, I think I'll be sticking with my uh, Imperials. I've got a load of separatists there that I think I'm going to fling up on either. I'm not too keen on the separatists either. There's just too much making me think about more than one ship. It really hurts. Um, three Phantoms. I used to know this guy that used to run three Phantoms. He, he was really good and really... Um, but I haven't seen him for ages. Can you remember what he was called? Martin something. I'm sure it was Martin. He did this horrible list with feedback array Z95s. Ugh, oh, that was disgusting. Anyway. Moving on. Hey look, this stream is Oh, he's most definitely he's the try hardiest try hard that I know. Definitely. Is that such a thing? Try hardiest try hard. Four oh, Phantom, that was a horrible... Yeah, you can't fit them in now, though, Snowy. They've, and I don't even... Th we love you. Uh, by the way, I'll stop the... I forgot what it's called. The ra I'll stop the raffle at nine. Uh, and I'll draw it from them. Uh, I will... Advanced warning that we do have... A spate of problems on the raffle at the moment. Um, both us and Rasta have been struggling with them. The one on Saturday just wouldn't close. Uh, I tried to close it three or four times and it just sat there waving at me. The Streamlabs have said it's because there is so many people streaming at the moment. It seems to be quite popular for some strange reason. Can't understand why. So, yeah, that washes a lot. It's got a it, there's a lot more pigment to it. I wonder. I might have a play around, grab a couple of bottles, and mix them down like I do with the nullin. Three basic phantoms and whisper, all with passive sensors, is one nine eight. That would be great, except I only own two. And I don't think Zoe owns any either. Or does she? I'll have to have a look into that. Um, so, 82 tickets and 17 unique users. 
So if anyone else wants tickets, it's um, 50 credits a ticket and it is exclamation raffle and then the number of tickets you want. Any subscribers? And I've just noticed, thank you, Leon, for subscribing. I just noticed that, sorry. My screen for who's subbing and that sort of stuff's tiny on this computer for some reason at the moment. Um, so, yeah, there's... Even Jaws entered. I'm trying not to mess around with that too much or it'll crash. So, next week, um, here's a little bit of a, a sneaky sneak. I know someone's already put this up on the Legion UK group, but we were told today that Iden Verso, uh, Cassian, and the. Not priority supplies, the other one. God, what's it called? Asset, vital assets. They are all dropping next week. So we have them um, lined up. And I'm hoping, I really am hoping, that I can have one of the sets here for when, next Wednesday night. If I've got them, I'll get them primed up, built, and um, we'll have a go at painting one of the sets, or both of the sets. Uh, I won't say what I said about... Oh no, it's, uh, uh, yep, I won't say what I say about Mr. K2 or Mr. R2. There's respectable people here. So, Whisper... Yeah, I don't... I, I, oh, Vader. Echo, Whisper, and Vader. Wow, that's disgustingly nice. Dale, send me that list over later. I'll have a look at it. And maybe build it for tomorrow night. <laughs> if you turn me into Martin, then I'm going to be very, very, very deeply upset. Uh, I so yeah, uh, I'll try and do um, Iden or Cassian or the Vital Assets. Um, if I haven't got them and Stephen's got them early or got them before us, um, I might send a message and I might buy it. Pack of, a pack of each off Stephen as well. And then... Uh, and then paint them ones, them ones up live on stream. And if I don't, is there anything people want to see me paint? Or see some techniques or anything like that? No, I can't grow a beautiful beard. I can put a fake one on. Uh, if I lasted, I liked it. Um, bombing run, I think Imperials running bon <laughs> Imperial bike spam and bombing run. You're gonna be in all kinds of problems. Um, I thought it was bad when we were talking about it. Before Paul, I thought it was going to be bad. <laughs> <With her. laughs> I knew you'd say that. Uh, there's, yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, <laughs> so in in order, Jack, oil painting figures. I need it's something I'm going to actually learn. Um, I've never used oil before, so, you know, I've got it coming. I've bought it today, and it'll get delivered. Heat fatigue. Heat fatigue, I can really do. I 
done a few bits and pieces like that. Rust effects, yeah. Um, trying to think, what have I got that I can do it on? I'll find some up. Rust. Can't even spell rusty and heat. Oil. Yeah, Jack, what I'll do is I'll give it... Um, when I get it, I'll give it a couple of tries on some bits and pieces and then I can try it on stream and we can see... Well, as I've said before, we'll try it, see how bad I go and see if I can get stuff to work. It, it's going to be very new to me. Uh, Captain Rex, for those having trouble with Stormtrooper armour... Stormtrooper army armor is really easy. Um, yes, yes, I have a Rex, but that's and paint that stupid orc gun tank thing of yours. That's not stupid. Oh. You're definitely going to get to see my legs now for that tonight. Let's see if I can find it. How much of the camera did I knock? So. Oh, it's covered in dust. <laughs> so, I have a very, very dusty... Oh, hey... Extremely dusty um, orc vehicle that I built. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'll yeah, I'll talk about it in a second. So this is my orc track. It's not your um, usual raster orc track type vehicle, but it is literally a Gatling cannon from a Titan. Oh, Forge World Gatling Cannon. Um, some tracks from the Astra Militarum things. The, yeah, and an orc driving it. So it's a big gun that flies around the board. And it, it's just some sort of um, mad thing that I came up with while sat around the board. <laughs> it's quite heavy as well. So, yeah, I could do snowing. Um, I've been playing around with Zenithal stuff again and inks. So, yes, I could do this. Do all the metal work in actual metals and then do the washes and the rusting. And then I can do things like the orc and some of the other bits with Zenithal inking. Yeah. Yeah. You have convinced me. Um, no, what's it called? Orc. 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 So, a couple of things. Do a Blood Bowl team. <laughs> There's a new one coming out. Snotlings are really easy. Dip them in green. Done. That's a four episode. What, for the Snotling? Oh, for that. Ta that could be a long tank, that one. But yeah. Um, so, at Snowy Nose, I've been practicing getting some like different companies' colours and paint and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know if anyone's seen him yet, but this, <laughs> this is my Super Snow Trooper. As you can see, he gets used for and abused for all kinds of stuff. I actually put him in the strip tank last week and... <laughs> uh, yeah um, and basically Dale send me one of your Blood Bowl teams I've got some green that I'd like to test so yeah um, this is another this is Vallejo premium colours and it's it goes on really nice, again, through the airbrush. And I want to try some uh, washes and stuff over it. So, again, testing. Got loads of stuff. Ectoplasm, yeah. 
loads of stuff planned. Um, I'm, I just apologise because I've been a little bit lax this week. Uh, it's been a bit... I don't know. Just a bit behind stuff. And I do appreciate the people talking to me. Rasta, Rasta help. I know Snowy keeps nudging me and keeping me full of uh, cheer and stuff like that. So... I am going to close the raffle. So if anyone wants a ticket, it's going to close in five, four. This is becoming my work, Marty. Um, I'm hoping to push this to the point where I can actually turn this into a valid part of my job as well as keep me used like entertained and keep me in touch with you. Um, four, three. Did you want a ticket, by the way, Captain Rex? Marty, I don't think you've got a ticket. I'll give you two seconds. And thank you, Paul, for the uh, list that just came through. Cool. So I will close the raffle at that. Right, it's actually sort of worked. Yeah, I've just got it, Matt. Thank you. So. First. I've got. I don't want to push it. Shoot. Right, that's dribbled all over there. So, cool. Um, the first one is obviously for one of these these were the ones that we painted live um i did say i was going to raffle them off at one of the ends of the monthly goals um so i've got both of them i know we've got x-wing players here and we have legion players here so whoever wins this one you get to choose which one you want so picking a winner and the winner of the first place prize is... Oh my god. Hi Martin. <laughs> M Mr Beast. Which one would you like? Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't an option. He says he doesn't want either. Cool. Uh, which one would you like? <laughs> Spaceship. Cool. I'll uh, drop me a message, and I'll uh, I'll get that packaged up and sent out on Friday to you, mate. So, well done. Is this the first um, f first one of them you got? Spaceship. Yep. Hi there. Welcome. And so, I'm going to go with, oh, you're going to have to buy more now. The next one is the Bobaguri set. So, Bob, I've got bags here to put these in and write names on because I am so forgetful. The only reason I've been so not forgetful is because it's been Foxy that keeps winning everything. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> so, the winner of these one, this first card set. Thank you for following, John. And the winner is... Oh. <sighs> Yay, Foxy. So, last week, we had Foxy and his better half winning everything. This week we have the big bearded beast and his better half winning everything. I'm I'm calling fix. <laughs> cool. I'll put it in the pack with his stuff. So the next one is the bombardment drone trio and the hive guard pet. These are all um, official 
2019 promos. It's always a fix when you didn't win. So the next winner is... Rattler. Well done, mate. You'll probably have to drop me your... Um, address again, because we don't tend to keep people's addresses. I Bagging it up. Yeah, he lives closer to me than you, Paul. So, and I know he would come and get me. So the next one is for the Legion cards. Some dirty Imperial. I chose it because we were doing Snow Troopers tonight. Um, and then there's snow and tauntauns and three. The next winner is Paul. Paul, I definitely need those six numbers off you for the weekend. Um, Rebel stuff. I don't think that's going to the. <laughs> <sighs> well done, Paul. <laughs> Fix. Yeah, it wasn't Imperial though, so. Um, so, and last but not least is the Ray and her granddad with Foresight, a shield upgrade, and some logistics divisions. And the last one is. People. Now I'm calling Fix. Peapod. <laughs> well, Peapod peas. Well done, Dan. Double fix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm calling triple fix. Dan, do you just want me to put yours in with Paul's again? So, yes, well done, everyone. And, again, thanks thanks for just being here mainly. Um, it's it's great to actually have so, some kind of social interaction with everyone. Uh, as I said, we've hit the monthly goal. I'll get that cleared down for the next one. Uh, and then I'll put up a, a bonus goal. And the bonus goal will be... The nice clear. <laughs> uh, bonus goal will be that. And. Straight out of stock. So that'll be next Wednesday. Um, I'll put the dice, both sets of dice, back up again. So whichever one's. Again, whichever ones you want. So. Yeah, Dan, it's... Uh, it's you lot that make it. I, I just sit here at the front and... Uh, shout abuse at people and... Uh, try to paint stuff. And fail looking at my poor... Cath Scarlet over there. So... Again, th thank you everyone... We will be back tomorrow night with um, a game with me and Zoe. I think I've got my list. I'll see what Zoe wants to try. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try your suggestion, Dale. Uh, last time I did. Uh, last time I tried your suggestion. What what happened? Catch it tomorrow. Um, If you've just got home, Rattler. I never let Zoe win. 
Yeah, Rally, you've won. Look, I've even put your name on it. There's a Droid Swarm promo set. I'll quickly show you. So, it's the three Bombardment Drone promos uh, and two Hive Guard promos. Maybe he's the... Yeah, both of your lists did well. Shh. Thing is, you need to play more. Because if you're getting good at writing lists, then you should stop those clicky things and start X-winging it more. And Foxy. Foxy would be immense at X-wing. I know he would. So, absolute amazing night. It's been really good. If you then play me on t I don't have time to sit down at the moment, let alone, yeah. We'll sort something out. Blasphemy. Um, drop me a message, Rattler, again, because I'll have blacked out your... Or I'll have deleted your email, uh, your mailing address, uh, and I'll get them sent out on Friday to everyone. Good night, Lucky. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming along again, and I shall see you all tomorrow.